Good evening, Affordable Plane Builders. This is Terry Adair. Another YouTube video coming out. And we've been working on the airplane today. I've spent a lot of time um, taking care of the engine, trying to get it uh, tuned up properly. A lot of help from um, Jimmy and talking to Matt at RPE. Uh, right now, we had a situation you notice we took the uh, air cover off. I'm not sure that it was doing any good, but engine is still running good. We're hitting about 5,180 to 5,200 RPM, and we repitched the prop. We're at 10 degrees on it right now, and that's giving us about the 5,180 on it. Uh, but I was still getting a cylinder head temperature um you know 540 550 560 uh on the high end of the throttle you know 4800 5000 with that's where we were getting the high temps and i'm trying to work it out i thought we had it licked with an adjustment but you know the the adjustment on the carburetor here for the uh, needle valve that only affects the low end so um that, that really, I was just spinning my wheels messing with that. We didn't actually take care of it. Uh, maybe we just had a, a good day or something. I don't know. But what we have come to the conclusion today, uh, this carburetor right here, carburetor number two, I'll call it, um, used to be over here in the uh, front position. And this cylinder here was running hot. So, you know, I went through the carbs. And I checked everything out to make sure that I had the correct needles, the correct needle jets, um, everything inside matched what it was supposed to be. The needles uh, clips were set at the uh, middle position. Um, everything was as it was supposed to be. And we were still getting a high temperature. So I went ahead and I switched the carburetors. I put this carburetor on the back and then this one back on the front. And sure enough, now this cylinder is the one that's running hot. So we know it's in the carburetor, something with the carburetor itself. <clears throat> so we took the, the whole carburetor apart, pulled the, the uh, floats, or should I say we pulled the, the bottom of the uh, tank apart, we pulled the floats out, we pulled the jets out, and we did discover that there was some debris down on the bottom of of the uh, the fuel tank here, or should I say the uh, the fuel cover, and we cleaned it all out. We also cleaned out all the jets and everything, and I thought we just about had it licked. Now we're doing just fine on the exhaust gas temperatures. It's just wherever I put this carburetor, that cylinder is running hot on the high RPM side. Now Jimmy has suggested that you know a possible fix maybe that we need to take the um the uh jet or should i say yeah the, the the fuel jet down here on the bottom the needle the main jet i guess is what you would call it take that out and replace it with the next size up so that we could get more fuel on the top end and uh, i'm gonna call matt again on monday and let him know just what we've been doing and what kind of readings we're getting and see if he doesn't have any other ideas then I think that may be what I end up doing is replacing the main jet in this carb going from the 170 up to the next size bigger whatever that may be whether it's a 175 or a 180 um, maybe grab a couple of those and and see if that doesn't help us run cooler on this carburetor um, other than that uh, the idle has been doing well. The transition is doing very well. Um, motor is very smooth. We're just having a little issue with that. Uh, the only other concern that I have is with this redrive. Now, you'll notice there's a little oil down here. There's oil there. And there's oil accumulating around here. As well as, you know, just little oil spots. And I cleaned some off the back of the airplane today. Now, initially, 
I thought I was losing the oil from right here where the, the redrive hits the adapter plate. But if you follow it along, it goes all the way along here. It's all the way over here. It's, it's all around here, and it's right underneath this little vent. So I'm, I'm not sure if it's coming out of that vent or not. Uh, I'm hoping that the thing is, is just maybe I have put a little too much oil in it. And it's coming out this vent and it's hitting the prop. It's even on the prop, you can see. And it's just spraying it. But um, anyway, this is the oil I, I pulled out of it today. And uh, we went ahead and filled it back up with some fresh oil. But you can still see there's, there's quite a bit of residue on it. I opened up this little sight right here and was looking at the gears inside. And, um, you know, the gears look like they're in great shape. So, um, you know, we're not, we're not grinding any gears or anything. But uh, just another little concern that I have. If you're running a Hearth engine with the G50 redrive, I'd be interested to hear what your experiences are. As far as the oil, um, if, if it's a little bit high, is it going to actually, you know, leak out this here? And, you know, if that's something normal that you guys have witnessed, uh, let me know. Other thing that I have is the windscreen has been mounted on. And I use some Adel clips here on the other side. And it just pretty much rests. Now, I do have one rivet here one rivet here and on the inside I've got a couple rivets up here holding it and I've got velcro running all the way down the center post and that that holds it up but for the most part the Adel clamps are holding everything in place it's good and solid as I had mentioned before I wanted to try and follow the contour of that A-frame going up and did a pretty good job of it. Now I did earlier have some tape across here. I uh, took it off just to kind of, uh, well when I when I fastened these down I took it off. Uh, that was originally holding all this down but uh, you can actually still see the <laughs> from the duct tape but I don't know if I'm going to put anything there or not um, maybe I will but right now I'm really more concerned about making sure that I get my my temperatures where they're supposed to be um, we're at 3.3 hours on the engine and We've gone through just over half a tank of gas today. Um, starting and stopping, starting and stopping, getting this thing going. But that's where we're at right now, guys. We're trying to, uh, you know, make sure everything is ready to take to the airport. Uh, once I get the cable set up for the uh, wings and also the jury struts. Uh, that's that's pretty much it but I don't even want to load this up and take it out to the airport until I know the engines gonna be acting right and we're real close like I said if anybody else has got any ideas I'd love to hear them uh, otherwise I guess I'm gonna be talking to Matt at RPE on uh, Monday and um, see if he's got any other suggestions uh, talk to him Friday and he gave me a lot of information to go by and um, we've done everything that he said to do from from adjusting the pitch on the prop to balancing the carbs to setting the uh, the low speed and setting the stops uh, everything in here is looking good as far as the pistons and the carbs are working up and down at the uh, simultaneously all the way up on the up and uh, at, at the bottom, you know, everything's staying synchronized. So, I mean, that's good. Um, I've been trying to see if there's anywhere else that I could be developing an air leak, uh, particularly on this carburetor here. 
Um, I don't know that there's anything else on here. Uh, like I said, the heat is following the carb. If I take this carb and put it over here, this is a cylinder that will get hot. If I leave it over here, this is a cylinder that gets hot. So something inside this carb is just not getting enough cooling on the uh, top end. Uh, now we're running Blue Max oil. And this is what's recommended. It's 100 to 1. And I don't know, you know, I, I feel a little leery at the 100 to 1, but um, Matt reassured me the 100 to 1 is what this engine uh, with this oil is supposed to be running and that uh, it'll run really, really well that way. Um, I suppose real quick, let's just take a look at one of the plugs. I mean, I checked them yesterday. And you know we had some uh, we had some good color on them. Let's see how they were today. Fiddling around with this socket here. Looks pretty good to me. Um, it's not white or ashy. It's not covered with oil. It's just got a nice kind of like brown color to it. So... There we go. Alright, so that's that's the number four plug. Let's take a look at the number two plug. I don't know if this probably might be better question suited for the Hearth Fanatic group or not, but I do know that Jimmy has been a big help to me and it's pretty much one of the reasons we were able to isolate it to the point that where we were. Yeah, it doesn't look too too bad in my opinion. Come on, baby. Start. There we go. Now we got it. I get to do everything one-handed when I'm filming.
Okay. All right, so between uh, propeller pitch, RPMs, we also put this guy on today for the uh, exhaust. Had to kind of modify things a little bit. Um, but that seems to be working pretty good, clamping these two pieces together. Alrighty guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, conclude the video. Look forward to hearing uh, everybody's comments. And uh, like I said, right now we're just trying to make sure we get this engine uh, running proper uh, before we do any, any kind of attempt at all of uh, taking it out to the airport. So, thank you guys for viewing. Thank you for subscribing. And until next time. Adiós.